Norfolk State University, an urban institution with over 7,000 students, once again has a high default rate on student loans. Efforts to collect overdue payments on national direct student loans have produced some results. In fact, the rate has gone down 16 percent from the 1979 academic year to $3 million. But figures released by the Education Department show the default rate across the nation at around 11 percent, just over 15 percent at the state level, and close to 54 percent for Norfolk State, five times the national average. NSU Vice President for Finance and Business Leon Scott says in addition to stepping up billing procedures, those who don't repay the loans will be taken to court. During this coming year, uh, we simply intend to continue uh, to bill and collect those loans in a, in a vigorous manner. And uh, this year, for the first time, we will also begin to uh, take people to court to sue people who are uh, in default. For the 8081 academic year, Scott says of the $375,000 collected, 83,000 was loaned out. For the third year under current federal rules, the university can't apply for new national direct student loan funds due to the high default rate. But he adds the new funding isn't needed because student financial aid requests are being met. The university is hoping court action along with stepped up computer billing will see the default rate ease downward to 45 percent in the near future. At Norfolk State University, Ava Hurdle, The Daily News.